Thank you very much, Sean. Well, Nelson Mandela fought for freedom and justice, spent 27 years in jail, and became both a leader and a symbol for the anti-apartheid movement. Today marks one month since the 94-year-old former president entered the hospital. And while the world waits in vigil, we've asked uh, Dr. Mary Lou McPherson to join, McFedrin, sorry, to join us from the Global College of the University of Winnipeg with a look at Mandela's legacy. Let's talk a little bit how he should remember, be remembered. How would you like to see Nelson Mandela remembered? You know, Desmond Tutu said that suffering can do one of two things to people. It can turn them into hard and bitter and revengeful people, or it can turn them into compassionate and gentle and courageous people, and that it was that's what happened to Nelson Mandela. He did so much more than just become a symbol, though, for anti-apartheid. He made real differences in the world. Can you talk a little bit about how the changes he made, uh, not only to his country, but uh, how he influenced things all over the world? Well, he became a symbol while he was in jail those 27 years around the world, but probably more importantly in his own country in South Africa for all the political prisoners who had been fighting for decades for a democracy because it was not a democracy. And um, his release became the focal point for fairness and justice and equality-based democracy that the world watched. And it, when he first went into jail, it triggered tremendous despair. Mm -hmm. The sense that this was, this was over, right? that um, the oppression was going to win and it was going to win forever, and that blacks would never, ever be able to have a fair place in South African society. And those 27 years where he never gave up. He honed his position to much closer to a Gandhian position right. of nonviolence. And that was not the same position as many of the leaders of the ANC had on the outside who were continuing the struggle. And as the time approached for his release in 1990, it increasingly became an issue of how was South Africa going to be led? Because it was not a given that he was going to become the president. No. And so that political leadership, that morphing of being a political prisoner in a non-democracy into being the first president of the democracy of South Africa meant that every statement he made, every response he gave, and the fact that he came out of prison saying, this will be a democracy, this will be an equality-based democracy, and that means we are not going to focus primarily on retaliating against our enemies. It will be equality for all. And the, it, he begins with uh, putting, helping to put together the Constitution mm -hmm. of South Africa. Why does he draw on the Canadian uh, Constitution, the Canadian rights, to build their nation? Well, you know, Canada is a contested country as well. Very much so, yeah. We have lots of division within our country, and we have lots of questions about sovereignty, sovereignty of Aboriginal peoples, sovereignty of uh, uh, French-speaking peoples. Mm -hmm. And uh, as a result of that, the Canadian Constitution, which had been built in the decade before, in the early 1980s, had a, has an, a very strong emphasis on inclusion and a definition of equality that is very different, for example, from the American Constitution. Right. And so when the South Africans were looking for something to build upon, it by no means is the South African Constitution the same, but a lot of what we learned in Canada about creating a document, a legal, do the supreme law of our land, sure. that defines our democracy as being equality-based, human rights-based, that became a very strong model for the South Africans. And indeed, a number of Canadians were asked to go to South Africa and work with the South Africans in the drafting of their constitution. It goes to show you how uh, our world has impacted his and how his world impacted us. We yes. continue to watch the story and the legacy grow yes. of Nelson Mandela. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Jeremy. Going to take a break. There's still plenty more to come today on Breakfast Television.